No, I didn't switch teams. This is just the shipping box. Hello, David here, and the project for today is a review of the Alive Core Cardia Mobile EKG Reader. Hopefully, you'll never run into this, but my cardiologist told me to get one of these things so that I could send him readings of my EKG. I happen to have irregular heartbeats, but it doesn't happen all the time. It's just intermittent, maybe uh, once or twice a week. I don't know why he's so concerned. I've had it all my life. My mom has had it all her life, and she lived to 97 years old. But anyway, this is not going to be a full review because I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical technician. I'm just a printer. So let's see what you get inside. I'm not sponsored by this company. I don't have any sponsors. So this offers real-time detection, detects normal sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation, brachycardia, and tachycardia. Tachycardia is what the doctor thinks I have. Connects with your doctor, and you can use it anytime. What this is not, it's not a device or a harness that you wear all the time. You just pull it out, take a reading when you feel something is abnormal. You probably should send a normal reading to your doctor so he has a baseline. It says it integrates blood pressure, activity, weight data. I don't know how it does all that, but advance is a modern science. Before I bought this, I let her read a lot of reviews on Amazon and there were a lot of negative reviews. People seem to have been upset that I pay a ten dollar monthly fee but that was the only negative. And then one guy reported that he got around paying the monthly fee by saving the reading as a as a JPEG and then emailed the JPEG to his doctor. There's more stuff to read. I better read the directions. Okay, so this booklet is unnecessary unless you speak a language other than English because there's every other language but English on this one. So this is the brochure you'll need. It's a quick start manual. There's two electrodes on here for placing your fingers for a reading. Battery compartments on the back. Then there's this uh, holding device which has sticky tape on the back and this snaps in there. They recommend that you put it on the back of your phone. and since I have this case on the back of my phone, I really don't have a good place to stick this thing. Or do I? No, it's kind of awkward. It's got all these ridges on here. Just did a review of this nice case. So one of my videos out there. I guess I could just keep this in my pocket. You're supposed to keep it with you and then this communicates with your phone. And a warning about the phone. I had an older Samsung J3 and it was not compatible with this device. Fortunately when my cell phone carrier moved up to uh, the 5G they gave me this new phone and I have this uh, Revel, T-Mobile Revel which uh, should be compatible. So what you have to do is download the Cardia app from the App Store and then launch it. And here's the deal. You probably can't read this, but the deal with the $5 charge is for the basic service you get three readings. You get atrial fibrillation, brachycardia, and tachycardia. And if you want to add these other three 
readings for sinus rhythm with PVCs, sinus rhythm with SVE, and sinus rhythm with wide QRS, whatever those mean. You have to upgrade to something called Cardiac Care, which is a premium, and that's what costs $9.99 a month. So I put in my profile information, and I notice on the profile information, if you have to happen to be one of those sexes other than male and female, this is not going to accommodate you. So just a warning out there, you have to be either a male or a female in order to use this app. I'm going to connect. Uh, ask me which device I have. Cardia Mobile or Cardia Mobile 6L and I think I just have the plain Cardia Mobile. Yeah, there's a video on how to use it. Relax, have a seat. Open the app and tap record now. Place the device near your phone. Lightly put your fingers on the pads. Two fingers on each pad like that. Give it a few seconds to smooth out. See your results after a 30 second recording. And know if your heart rhythm is normal. Or if a fibrillation is detected. Okay. I'm going to click next. Okay, I'm clicking record your EKG. Microphone access is required to record EKG. I'm going to allow access. Allow Cardia to record audio. I'm going to select while using this app rather than only this time because I'm sure I'm going to do it again. I see there's a 30 second countdown timer there but I don't see how it starts. Maybe I need to get my fingers on there. Countdown timer has not started yet. Turn off Android NFC to start your recording. NFC interference. NFC interfaces with the signal coming from your Cardia mobile device. Turn off Android NFC. Go to settings. NFC is right there. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Go back, touch electrodes to start recording. Your recording will start once contact is detected on the electrodes. Well, I am in contact, so let's get going. It hasn't started yet. Hasn't started. Hey, I wonder if I need a battery. Let's look in here. See, the battery it's supposed to use is a CR2016. There's definitely a battery in there. Crap, I hope my harp didn't stop. Okay, I'm going to click on Need Help. 
Just tried it again off camera. I rocked back, sat down, and held this close to the phone. You have to be within six inches. It gave me a recording. It said that there's no rhythm abnormalities detected, but it also says Cardia does not check for heart attack. So if you're ever experiencing problems, make sure you call 911. Go back and see if I could do a recording on screen. I also downloaded the PDF to my uh, Google Drive so I could send it to my doctor. Okay, let's launch the app. Going to record EKG. Maybe I need to bounce up the brightness here. Yeah, it just got a reading that said weak signal right there. Let's try holding it above. Oh, it says great signal. Countdown is starting. Got 83 beats per minute. Can you see the graph? Five seconds to go. Did David record this EKG? Yes or no it was a guest? Yes, that was really me. No rhythm abnormalities. You can add notes if you want. You could download a PDF. Let's do, uh, there's a clinician review. Let's do the clinician review. Oh, this one requires a payment. I guess that's reviewed by the people at Cardia. I don't want to purchase a review from Cardia. I want my cardiologist to review it so I'm gonna download the PDF I'm gonna skip the password protection you could put a password on it and then give it to your technician so they enter the password in order to open it I'm gonna put it on my drive put it in my folder called health Go to health. Do I have to do anything else? I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys and gals never need to have to use one of these things. I hope you're all well and healthy and all that good stuff. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.